I'm here on the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University in Florham Park, New Jersey, and today we have the opportunity to speak with head coach Christian Giada of the FDU Devils women's soccer team as she gives us a little bit of a preview of the upcoming 2019 season. I'm here once again with the FDU Devils women's soccer coach, Christian Giada. Coach Giada, always a pleasure to have you on. Thank you for speaking with us for a few minutes. Thanks for having me, Neil. Appreciate it. Of course. So my first question to you, Coach, is you're coming into the season after last year. You made a pretty, pretty impressive run in the ECAC final. Talk about what you can build from last season that can take into this upcoming year. Well, I think the, the main thing, Neil, is we have a, a strong core of uh, returning players. Um, you know, we're, we're upperclassmen heavy this year. Um, the kids have been through um, what, it liked, what it feels like to win. Mm -hmm. um, they're good competitors. They've, you know, um, been through the process and been through the postseason a couple times now. So um, that coupled with our, you know, with our uh, talented freshman class and a couple transfers that we have coming in should make for another good year. Absolutely, and I like that you brought up, you know, you guys have a lot more experience going into this upcoming year, and you have quite the schedule coming up this year. Can you talk to us a little bit about the, you know, just the amount of teams and the amount of talented teams you're facing this upcoming year? Well, we open with four uh, NJAC opponents, and, um, you know, Jersey City, Ramapo, uh, Kane, and William Patterson, and we know that NJAC is a very strong conference, so, um, you know, that will be a good test for us early on. Uh, we've added some some other good teams uh, within the region. So, you know, our conference has gotten a lot stronger over the years and will continue to get stronger. So those non-conference games really prepare us for, you know, for what's really important in the end, which is our conference games in October. Those are some very good points. Now, my next question to you, Coach, is looking at just the team that you have, you talked about before, you have a lot of experience. Talk to us about some of the, the players that you expect to have a pretty big year for your team. Well, Neil, I, I think our seniors are going to be the, the key to this team this year. Um, we have some great leadership, and one of our captains is a senior and has been in that role for two years. Um, you know, we're looking for our juniors who were, um, we had two all-conference performers last season, and Amanda Croce and Tatiana Nieto, um, who's been uh, now a two-year all-conference performer for us. So. We have a bit of talent, um, but also we're looking for the freshmen and the transfers to come in, you know, and make that immediate impact. I think the one thing that we have this year is a lot of depth. Um, and with depth, you can go very, very far in season. So that's really one of our goals. Now, my last question to you, Coach, is, is simply this. You obviously have a lot of goals when it comes to, you know, what you want on the field. But talk to us a little bit about what the goals you want to have achieved off the field for your team. Well, on the season, um, you know, on the field during the season, I, I think, you know, winning is obviously, you know, one of our highest uh, highest goals. But, you know, off the field, we, what we instill in our players are, are our core values, and our core values make up our culture, um, and that is family, trust, respect, dedication, and accountability. Um, you know, and those things are, are what, you know, we, we strive for every day as a team. And, and you know, I, I think the reason that we are so successful is that we have players that play for each other. Um, they love each other other and they, they love to win and they compete for each other every day so you know when you have good team chemistry on the field you're going to have it off the field and you know that's really what we preach for as, as a staff and you know i fortunate to have good leaders and really good people be a, f a reflection of our program day in and day out well that was that was a really really great answer and i like everything you said there coach thank you so much as always for speaking with us for a few minutes and we look forward to seeing you and your team out there on the field this upcoming season so thank you very much great neil thanks for having me again i'm here with senior defender dari lyons dari thank you for speaking with me for a few minutes i appreciate it of course no problem so my first question to you just just talk to us about how you feel about, you know, you guys are getting ready to play your first game of the season. It's obviously an exciting time, but just talk about how you and your team feel going into this year. Actually, we're really excited for this year. I think that this year we have the most potential that we've had in my past four years, and which is really exciting for me to be a senior, to have such potential. And I think we could really take it far, and I think everyone knows it. Um, we're meshing really well. We're all friends, which is unusual, especially on a girls' team. So I love to see it, and I'm really proud to be a part of it. Now, one statistic that I, I looked up that was quite impressive is that since you came here to FDU, you have played in all 62 possible matches you could play for here at FDU. What has been the key to your success to you know, maintain that durability and stability here on this team? Um, hard work, dedication, and just loving the game. I think if you have a love for the game, it takes you really far. And I'm a hard worker. My coaches know that. so. Ask me to do something, I'm the first one who will do it, and you know, I'll drop before I can't do something. So I think that's 
one thing that I do have going for me. Spoken like a true team leader. Now, speaking of being a true team leader, you are going to your second year as a captain of this team. So quite an accomplishment and uh, personal congratulations to you. What does it mean to, to be a captain here? And obviously being your senior year, what does it mean to just be a captain of this team? Um, I'm a big advocate for my players. My coaches know that too. I respect my coaches um, as much as I possibly can, but I have the same respect for my teammates too. So being in the middle, it works for me because both ways I can talk to them in an honest way, but definitely, you know, you always have to be respectful no matter if you disagree. Um, I think that as long as you have respect for everyone on your team, that people will respect you. And that's kind of what I've been thriving or striving for my past four years. And I'm glad that I've been named captain for the second year in a row. I think it's truly an honor. Thank you so much, Dara, for speaking with us for a few minutes, and good luck this upcoming thank season. You. Thank you so much. I'm here with junior forward Erica Martins. Erica, thank you for speaking with me, with me for a few minutes. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so my first question to Erica is this, just talking about, you know, you guys have been preparing for this upcoming year. Just, just give us a little bit of an insight as to how the preseason and training camp has gone to get you gals ready for this upcoming year. Uh, preseason has been going really well. I think we're all meshing together and we're really deep this year. We have a lot of great incoming players, but also all our returning players have come back even stronger. So we're obviously working a lot with the midfield this year. We're reorganizing our back line and our forwards. We're building off of stuff that we already started last season, but we're building off and getting stronger in those areas. So, so far preseason's been like really good and we're looking good. <laughs> Well, that's, that's definitely a positive way to look at it, and, and that's great. So my next question to you, Erica, is this. You know, obviously you're part of the, the offensive group of the team. Just talk about what, some of the things you've worked on this year to improve your game and help you and the rest of the team take that next step. So this season we're looking to build more on our runs, be more creative up top. We've been really good in our previous years, and we don't have that many forwards, but every player we do have is very strong. So... We're trying to build more on creativity and working together and building that offensive chemistry that we do have, but obviously it still needs to get better, but I think it's going to get there. Now, my last question to you, Erica, is this. I, I found out that you are a big fan of a lot of different types of music. Just talk to us a little bit about some of the music that you like to listen to to get ready for each game. Um, honestly, I'm not really in charge of playing the music before the game, but... We listen to a lot of rap, obviously, just to get us pumped up. Um, I like a lot of EDM stuff for the game, and one of our players made a really good uh, pre-game playlist, so we'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely will have to check it out. Well, Erica, thank you for speaking with me for a few minutes, and good luck this upcoming season. Thank you so much. I'm here with goalkeeper Ashley Polano. Ashley, thank you for speaking with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We're happy to have you on. So my first question, actually, is this year, obviously, you know, part of the, the goaltending tandem. Just talk about how, what are some of the things you have worked on this, this preseason to get you ready for the upcoming year. Um, I think we, us as a goalkeeper staff in general, we worked on a lot, mainly just technical stuff, um, working on our feet, making sure that our distribution to our field players is good, and also just with our hands as well, making sure that we're doing everything technically and, yeah. No, that's, that's great. Now, an interesting question that I'm sure a lot of people want to know is what what type of routine do you have when, you know, you know you have a game and you know you're going to be playing? What type of routine do you like to get into and how long does it usually take to get you ready for this match, particularly like we have coming up in a couple hours? Well, usually um, we start an hour before the game to practice, so I like to take an extra hour before that to just prepare myself mentally. I like to listen to music that usually gets my head in the game, makes me pumped, makes me excited to play, and just put me in that mindset of having like the most confidence and making sure that um, my head is in the right space, not thinking anything negatively. Um, and yeah. That's a very good way. Now, my last question to you, Ashley, is this. You, you ladies had a very impressive season last year, and you finished, unfortunately, losing in the semifinals of the ECAC tournament. What is it going to take for you and your team to reach that next level, to winning the ECAC title, and then making it to the NCAA tournament? Um, I think now, especially this year, we have a lot more depth, so I think that'll help us a lot in general. And then also, like, all of our, um, our mental strength, I think, would help us a lot. Last year, um, some of, like, not all of our heads were in the game, so I feel like that kind of uh, 
put a damper on our results in the ECAC tournament, but this year I think all of us are coming in more prepared and mentally ready to uh, do what we have to do and get to the NCAAs. Prepared and ready to go. I like that. Well, Ashley, thank you for speaking with us for a few minutes, and good luck this upcoming year. Thank you. The FDU Devils went all the way to the ECAC semifinal, and they will look to try to build on that performance from last year and take it into this upcoming year. Reporting from the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University in Florham Park, New Jersey, I'm Neil Villapiano.